I'm going to talk about this uh, scale we got at Walmart. Uh, it was $30 at Walmart. Um, it's a digital scale with a stainless steel top piece. Um, it's the glass underneath. And it says it has batteries in there too. We shall see. Um, one of the reasons we got this scale is because we had a really, uh, like a, uh, an analog scale, a manual scale that to measure food and stuff. And it was really hard to use because you had to put the bowl and you had to turn this knob and it was kind of a pain in the butt. So, um, so we wanted to get a digital scale. Ooh, this one's really good and heavy. Um, this is your battery. Easily pull these out. Um, yeah, please don't wipe There we go. That way your batteries won't run dead. That's why I put those in there. There we go. There's the display. That says error. I'm assuming I have to reset it. I didn't read the directions, so don't push out. There we go. And what you do is, we wanted this to measure foods like M&Ms, chips, popcorn, whatever it may be. Uh, for example, the M&Ms say for um, it's 220 calories for one and a half ounces. I mean, it's one and a half ounces. We didn't know how many one and a half ounces is. So what you do is you put your bowl, and we have very lightweight styrofoam bowls, but uh, uh, I'm still going to put that on there, and you push. Well, it should equal. It should even out. There we go. Well, don't breathe on it. Don't breathe. And then I'm going to put one and a half ounces of serving size into this bowl. Too many. And I'm, I haven't read the directions, so I'm just going by instinct here. There we go. So that would be one and a half ounces. And these, by the way, are new. We're going to try these. These are the white chocolate peppermint M&Ms. So uh, we're going to give these a try. How many calories is it for that many ounces? 220. 220 calories. And they were about $3 at Walmart, um, like most of the candy is. Um, I'm going to try one and give one to Tammy, too, to try out. White, white chocolate on the inside. I still mm -hmm. like the bells. Those the are bells good. are by far my favorite still. Those are good though. It's just got a peppermint flavor. There's no peppermint pieces in them. They're really I good like though. Those I like those pieces. Them. And I like the, the bells have little sprinkles in there for a hard texture and I like that too. And these don't have that. We did a review, um, if you watch that review, on uh, some Hershey's bells. Yeah. And that's what Ashley's referring to. And I can link to the, that one, uh, that video in the description. That's a really good peppermint flavor, though. I mean, that's, that's And we strong. still have not. We were at Meyer tonight. They did not have the bells. So we have only seen the Hershey's bells at, um, at Target. Those have a really good, strong peppermint flavor, though. So if you like peppermint, like candy cane, strong peppermint flavor, you would really like that. I like those a lot. Um, now I'm going to try these other kinds. And um, these are peanut butter M&Ms, and these are 220 calories for one and a half ounces. So, again, that's how you turn it off. So that's not it. This one, this bowl doesn't weigh much, but if you had like a glass bowl or something like that. That would weigh a lot, so you want to make sure you, you set your scale to zero when you put your bowl in there, then put your stuff in the bowl while it's on your scale. Because um, if you don't, it'll weigh your bowl too. You know, like that. One more. One more. One more. That is one and a half, that's 220 calories worth of M&M's right there. Looks like a brown peanut butter. They got the texture of a, of a Reese's Pieces. Maybe a little squishier. 
Those are good. They're good, but me personally, I like the peanut butter and the Reese pieces better. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's a little more peanut buttery. Yeah, it's a better quality. It's a better quality peanut butter in a Reese piece. These are good though. You actually get more peanut butter. Yeah, you get more. Piece. Yeah, they're thicker. They're definitely thicker. It just tastes like a cheaper peanut, peanut butter. butter. Mm-hmm. So would you get either one of those again? No. Yeah. They're better alternatives. Now, I do like the peppermint. I mean, I'll eat those. Um, yeah. I don't know. For peppermint, I like those a lot. So, I don't know. I, the bells, I didn't eat a lot of those, so I don't know. But the peanut butter ones... I'd probably pass on those again. I'd probably just get Reese's Pieces because they are a little better. And they are a little uh, firmer, too. These are very soft peanut butter. So that's good. And now we got our new scale, so we can use it you for all kinds of stuff. You think you'll like that for chips and stuff? Uh, it'll be much better than our old one was, that's for sure. Yeah. And this one will go, this bigger one at Walmart, um, like I said, this is the Taylor one. I think this one will go up to 11 pounds. Yeah. It has an 11-pound capacity, so you can mail... Um, small packages and things like that on uh, for mailing stuff too. So you want to mail a small box or something, you can. You, can you put said that on they it. had one that was uh, like forty dollars. They have a forty dollar one that's the biggest loser one, and the deal with that one is it has a little keypad on the front of it, and you can enter your foods. Like let's say it's a uh, an apple, and you can put your apple on there, and it would tell you, and you say it's an apple, and you it would tell you how many calories is in that apple based on its weight. So that's, that's a neat gimmicky thing, but- um, We didn't can, need it for that. Yeah, we didn't, we don't do that often. Most of ours, I hate to say it, we eat a lot of packaged food. Uh, we don't eat a lot of fresh vegetables and fresh, fresh apples. We probably should eat more, but we don't. Um, most of ours is packaged stuff, so it has, uh, you know, weights and serving sizes on, and calories on it. Um, if we do eat apples, oranges, things like that, we just, uh, we look it up, honestly. So. Uh, that's good if you eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, though. That would probably be, that might be worth the extra $10 to you, but it wasn't worth the extra $10 to us. So. After reading the directions, I understand how the tear thing works. What you do is you take your bowl, container, whatever, go ahead and place it on your scale, turn it on, and it should zero out when it comes on. See, it's at zero. Now we're going to add whatever. This is a pretty cool feature. Like, let's say their example was if your recipe called for half pounds of beans and a half pound of rice and what you can do is you can now it's at zero we add our half pound i don't know how much this really is but there's our half pound our 10 ounces of beans right now we want to measure we can we want to add a half pound of rice so what we can do is hit the tear button and it should go down to zero is what it said there we go no there we go zero and now we can add our beans or rye, whatever the other ingredient was, and now you've measured out both the ingredients accurately without having to take the first ingredient out and put the second ingredient in and measuring it separately. So you can measure it all. And if we want to add another, you know, 10 ounces of something, we can, I guess it just takes it a while. It zeroes out again, then we can add, uh, you know, whatever. And, and it, add, it keeps adding these separate weights up. So that's, that's a neat feature, especially if you're going to make like a recipe, maybe it takes, uh, um, I don't know, flour is not usually measured in Regular pounds, sugar but, and brown sugar. Yeah, but if it's weight, if it's by weight, usually those are by cups. But if it's by weight, you can put a, you know, 10 ounces of one thing and then 10 ounces of another, you can add them all into one bowl without having to measure them out into separate bowls. So that's a cool feature. So anyway, thought I'd let you know that.